Yes, very good. First of all, an introduction. FC Utrecht is a safe mid-table club in the Dutch Eredivisie. Uh, we never relegated. We are known as cup fighters. Played a couple of uh, cup finals. Won some. We play in Samuel Galgwaard. You can see the picture. Which has a capacity of 24,000. Um, we have had some very famous players. Like Dries Mattis from Napoli. Kevin Stoltman from AS Roma. And Dirk Kuyt. Uh, he's been a Dutch international. And also played for Liverpool. Back in the days, season 2008-2009, as Utrecht had more than 16,000 season card holders. It was very cozy on the stands. It was hard to find an empty seat. The year after, a decline. More than 500 season card holders left. But the, season, the following season was very good. We had a very solid defense and we qualified for European football after winning the playoffs against ODSA. Again a decline, 300 this time, 300 season card holders left. We played European football in Samu Galgewaard against Napoli, Liverpool, Stega Bucharest. Some great matches with some very attractive players like Dries Mertens and Kevin Stoutman. But again, after that season, a decline and this one a huge one. Not only Mertens and Stoutman left, but also 900 season card holders left. We lowered the price that season of a season card because something needed to change. And we did, we did something different. This is Alexander Gerd. And Alexander Gerd was the most expensive player in FC Utrecht history. Because we wanted to attract more season card holders. Alexander Gerd played well. But the season card holders again left. 1500 season card holders that year. So the last two years we've lost more than half a million revenue in euros to the season card holders. Again a very good season. We won the playoffs, this time against FC Twente and FC Utrecht went to Europe again. The crowd was cheering, we finished on the fifth place that season. But still a decline. So we tried something else, we tried mass communication. Huge billboards in the cities, a pop-up store in the shopping mall. We tried everything to make our brand visible in our region. But also that didn't work. Again a decline. This time 1100 season card holders left. As you can see, an average of 900 season card holders left a year. Something needed to change. And needed to change very quick. So we came in contact with Two Circles. Two Circles is a data driven sport marketing agency based in London, the UK. And they offered us a trial. They said to us, you have an average decline of 900, we can help you, we can help you out. We are going to use data to improve your campaigns. So you have to imagine that the last seven years, season card holders all received the same letter. So a fanatic hooligan, father and son, and a grandmother, they all received the letter, please renew your season card. Same motivation, same visual, same call to action. We changed it that summer. And for a father and a son, we choose a father and son picture, picture, visual. And we offer him the family stand. We segmented for the first time. And the results were there. The decline stopped. Just 100, but not the average of 900. So we said to each other, well, we are very happy. The huge decline stopped. We are going to sign a three-year contract with Two Circles and we are going to use data to improve our results. Later that summer, Two Circles created a data warehouse for us and they connected our ticketing access, our ticketing data, our access, all ticketing data, fanshop data, webshop data, our email data and our survey data all connected to the data warehouse and the data warehouse start crunching and crunching all the data and we received new data insights new data propositions we had a dashboarding tool so we can segmentate way easier we created through the years a fan and data strategy and that is that this pyramid <coughs> our goal is to meet a fan or a potential fan as a data record and to bring him step 
by step to our real goal. Stadium Galvaart filled up with only golden season card holders. The capacity is 24,000 and of course 22,000 golden season card holders would be great. So we have 2,000 seats to meet new people. But now we are very, very, very far away from our goal. Back to our strategy. Below you see all our activities. We visit schools, we visit football clubs, we give professional trainings, we visit elderly homes, we visit students, we visit governments. We try to be everywhere and we try to meet as much people as possible. For example, this is a player of FC Utrecht. He's visiting a school and he's telling about you, you need to have a healthy lifestyle, drink enough water. The children, they find it amazing, a football player in their classroom. It's, it's very, uh, well, they are very happy with it. When we visit, we bring always a present, which can be a gift, or like here, a goodie bag, goodie bag filled with FC Utrecht merchandising. To personalize those goodie bags, we ask the data of the children, because a personalized goodie bag has a huge, huge bigger impact than just a gift without a name on it. Same thing happened at clinics. Our players visit local amateur clubs and they train the little yacht how to play football. The little players train the whole day and at the end of the day they receive a, received a personalized certificate with a name on it. So everywhere where we are, we are going to bring gifts. We bring gifts and we want one thing in return and that is data. We're now going to meet an example. This boy is Little Bob. Little Bob has a father. The name of his father is John. John never liked football, but all the children in Little Bob's class, they were playing football at the local amateur club. So Little Bob also goes to the local amateur club. This week, he received a training from our attacker, Giriano Kerek, and he's receiving a gift. Before him, the certificate with his personalized, personalized data. Um, little Bob doesn't have an email address, so we have the email address from his father. Bob trained very well and he received an email from FC Utrecht. Hey Bob, you were great that training. We enjoyed your power. We have a special offer for you. You can visit the match against Sparta Rotterdam with a huge discount. Well, Bob wants to go and John said, okay, I've never attended a match in the stadium, let's go, we see what happened. FC Utrecht won the match 3-0 against Sparta, the sun was shining, the seats were clean and Bob and John had a great day. So, little Bob, we met him, we met him as a data record, but now John and Bob took one step to a voucher. They, they attended a match with a huge discount. Our next goal is to bring him from a voucher to a one-off. One-off is attending a match for the normal price, without any discount. So, after the match against Sparta, he receives an email and we say, hey, thanks for your support. Thanks to the, thanks to the cheering of John and little Bob, our players found the power to make an extra goal. Is little John a kids club member yet? No? Sign up for free. Does John have a club card? No, you can take it for free and you can buy um, a card for every match. We also ask feedback. We want to know how they rated their stadium visit. So, the next goal with them is to bring them from voucher to one-off by using the right data. A couple of weeks later, Asuta is playing at home against Feyenoord. And again, they receive an email. We are asking them, hey John and little Bob, we are playing again against a, a rotten, an opponent from Rotterdam. We need your support. The seat you, take, you two were sitting in is still empty. Buy that seat and make sure you are here. So they decided to go and we played a match 1-1 against Feyenoord. And again, of course, they received an after mailing to thank them. They are now in the group one off. And uh, our goal, is to bring them now to regulars by using the right data. It can be very easy, uh, but you need to have a lot of creativity because we can say um, we attended the match on Friday and on Saturday, 
Now we are going to play on Sunday. Make sure you come. We played against Excelsior and against Feyenoord. We are now, oh, sorry, we played against Sparta and against Feyenoord. We now are going to play against Sparta. So make sure you buy your ticket. There are a lot of data propositions you can use to make the next step. This one. Receive John and Little Bob. Three matches for the price of two. And Patrick. We are playing on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, John and Bob think, okay, that's a nice offer. We are going to attend it. So they visit the three matches, and guess what? FC Utrecht is still unbeaten, five matches. And they have now attended five matches one as a voucher, one as a one off, and three as a hat trick. Our next goal is to bring them to half season cards. So we can say, hey, join the club. We need you. Your seat is now free, but it's your seat. Come on, take it for every match. You've got huge, huge benefits. There is no login time, you get discount. We bring all kinds of propositions to get them to the next step. So, they took the half-season card, and they are now in this group as a half-season card. And now things are changing over here, because we try to bring every data record to become a gold season card member step by step. And if we bring 3,000 of them, but also 3,000 are going away, in the end, the result is zero. So we focus on keeping the keeping the customers in this group and we know it's six to seven times harder to acquire a new customer than keep a current one so we have a lot of programs FC Utrecht knows that uh, through the data FC Utrecht knows that if someone is attending 17 of the possible 17 matches the chance of renewing a season card is above the 95 percentage if someone is only attending 12 of the possible safety matches, it drops dramatically. So if someone misses a match in the season, we are going to send them an email or give them a call and say, hey, we miss you. Where were you? Can we help you? Is something wrong? How can we improve your match day experience? We do that with a lot of other aspects. Also with the login time. If someone is always 55 minutes before kickoff, we know he's going to renew all his season card. The chance is more than 50, 95 percentage. But if he's always five minutes before, it will be way harder. It drops to 60 percentage. So we offer him, if you come earlier, you'll get your second cola for free. Or we have a pre-match show. Make sure you are in time. We use all that kind of data aspects to improve the match day experience and to make sure that current season card holders stay with us. This is our renewal rate. Renewal is having a season and renewal it for the next season. We are now on 98 percentage, which is in the EMVC uh, high, uh, but we've grown the last couple of years by using the data and make sure that people stay with us. Back to our examples, John and Bob, they have had a whole season card for uh, the last thing they bought was a half season card and we now want to bring them to a season card uh, so we are uh, using the visual father and the child and we say to John hey this is your day with your son make sure you renew on your season card we use data like you have seen 25 goals this season you've seen our top scorer make seven goals uh, you traveled 900 kilometers etc etc we use all kind of data to make the offer as nice as possible for them this is the hardest step, step uh, from season card holder to gold season card holder. Gold season card holders are people uh, who feels like being an ambassador. So we need to give them the tools by data. For example, little Bob isn't little anymore because we're two years later. It's now Big Bob and John. And um, John and Big Bob attended every match at home and away. So we reward them. We say to them, hey, you are supporting us every match, so we give you a free ticket. We're using their ticketing data to become an ambassador. These are the results so far. Um, we are growing. The goal for next season is to get 1,100 season card holders. Data tells us that it is possible. And this is the average attendance in the Eredivisie. So we are not only growing in season card holders, but because we are pushing it step by step, the vouchers are growing. 
the one-offs are growing, the regulars are growing, etc., etc. And that's the reason that we are growing in every section, not only in season card holders. We're doing a lot more with data, but um, to keep it uh, uh, easy, this is the example how we started. We started with season card holders because the problem was there. Now we're using data also for webshop, fanshop, catering, etc. Some things uh, I want to bring in perspective. Um, this is a theory. John and little Bob are an example. We want every data record to become a cold season card holder, but that's very hard. It won't happen. There are always people who say, no, I'm just a regular. It's okay for me. I want to be a regular. You can push as hard as you want, but there's no way. Uh, the GDPR will make it a lot harder to collect data records. Um, it's our vision. It's our belief. We just started. As you can see in the results, we are now growing for two years, and we expect to grow the next year. But we just started. We are only halfway. Uh, it's a long-term project. If you're going to use data, don't do it for two years. It's long-term. And circumstances are very important. Um, a very good example is FC Utrecht played against Pax Holle in Stadion Galgenwaard and we had 6000 voucher kids who attended the match for the first time. It was raining that day, it was cold, but in the latest minute our cult hero Ruud Boymans made the 1-0 and we won the game. It is way easier to send a thank you email. Thanks to your support, thanks to your cheering, Ruud Boymans found the power to make the goal. Thank you. That's way easier to follow them up because if we lost with 2-0, it was raining, it was cold, we lost, we didn't make a goal, there was nothing to celebrate. So circumstances are very important. Some takeaways. Become a data-driven club. Don't become a data-driven department. Use players, use scouts, use your community program, use your media department. You can't do it with just the marketing department. It's a data-driven club you have to create. Um, do it step by step. Uh, we've never seen a data record who became a golden season card holder in one night without even attending one match. So take them step by step and give them the next offer they probably are going to accept. Make your data relevant. Um, if a little boy visits a clinic from FC Utrecht players, He's very high in his emotional. It's perhaps the most beautiful thing he did that month because he's been trained by a hero. Then the data record is relevant. It's way easier to give them an email and say, hey, come to the match. It's way harder uh, if you're going to buy a data record with uh, a local or, or with a sponsor. Um, another thing is segmented. Um, you can't offer a father and a son a season card on the fanatic stand. It's impossible in this time. Um, Amazon, Google, everybody's working with data, so use it also right. And the last thing, um, use as much tools as possible. In my example, I'm using email to make it very easy, but we are also using SMS, letters, magazines, etc. Everything, uh, every tool is good to use if you can segment it. I'm pretty sure my English isn't Good enough. So if something is unclear or if you've got any questions, um, well, I will be here around today. So please meet me. Thanks for your attention.